For me, it was never a, a generational thing. Um, I, I was playing a hunter. I mean, I, I obviously couldn't go back and study, uh, you know, journalists from the past. The guys that I did study were hunters, uh, far more aggressive than uh, the journalists that I've met in, in my life, because they're crime journalists. So they're, you know, the goal is to get there before the cops. It's an aggressive job. They're hunters on a safari. It's very different. Uh, generationally, I, I mean, I, I can only speak for my generation. It's the only one I studied. I, uh, I of course studied Bob in that movie uh, thoroughly because that's a. Uh, you have two characters there. You have Bob playing more of an idealist, um, and and you have uh, Hoffman playing more of a, you know, cut any throats, nobody gets in my way. You know, nothing's in front of the story kind of guy, and my character's juggling both. Um, I think in general, what I experienced uh, in taking the script that I was given and putting it on the floor, meaning going and, you know, being with reporters at the LA Times for a while, there's far less idealism in reporting. There's far less idealism in journalism. Journalism is, is glory-based. It's whoever gets the story first. That's more important than the story most of the time, at least in my generation of journalists. And there's a great book that Bill gave me early on called The Journalist, uh, Journalist and the Murderer, which explores the whole idea of you know, where do, where do ethics come into play? When is it not about the story? When do you put the, the pad and the pen down to help the woman getting raped? You know, um, and I think that this script explores a lot of that. I mean, that's what I'm juggling throughout most of this movie. When does the reporting stop? When does my humanity kick in? You know, the, I have a, an actor's attention span, which lasts for about six months. Uh, and I think maybe as I mature, maybe my attention span will open up. Uh, like, like Bob here's been working on this movie for five years, you know, five years of the same thing. I may not be such a pleasant person, uh, but that's where I am now, you know, I'm trying to just be a good actor. Well, I think you're a pleasant person. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I thought he, he was a really wonderful actor, and I liked the work I'd seen him do, and I, I thought he had the right intellect and the right energy and the right skill, and I hope that he would do it. It's uh, wild for me to hear it now, just like it was wild for me to hear it when he gave me the job. And it's wild every time I get a job. And it's, for me, I go to set, it's the first and last time every time. And, and nothing changes. I'm blessed 